Ooh, a vat of wax. Isn't that nice stuff? Oh man, the video just doesn't give it justice, man. I wish we could do smell tube. You guys should smell this stuff. If you like honey and stuff and bee stuff, oh man, this stuff is nice. But anyways, today we're just working on some molding blocks. Today, um, I've got, well, I've started on it already, but I've got, uh, Third, thir 30, 30, 30 pounds more of this stuff because I've been making quite a bit of stuff and stuff, selling some stuff and stuff. Um, these are ones I've done. Look at the, look at the beautiful color of this stuff. Just fantastic. It's funny though, this stuff it does uh, change color. So that was more of a recent one, and that was a bit of an older one. Now it actually does change. It's more waxier-ish. But uh, yeah, we've got in these huge blocks down here. Have a look. So I got this like huge freaking block. We've already busted up one pretty much. And uh, we're melting her down and uh, putting her into our block. So it's a little bit easier for me to melt instead of this great big huge thing. I can just melt what I need kind of thing. So we're, uh, we're going to bust up some more. Some of this is a little dirty, but it's not terrible bad. Uh, some of the stuff will settle to the bottom. See a bit of dirt stuff in this one, so maybe I will filter it, but it's so weird because, and maybe you guys can help me with this, I don't know. This stuff doesn't smell good, okay? If you uh, break this off and smell it, it doesn't smell great. It doesn't smell like, like nice, nice beeswax, but after I've melted it and put it through these guys and pop this out, smells like heaven <laughs> so I don't understand that but uh, anyways get this a bit closer um, just gonna get this warm put this into pans and then we'll get my other guy going there and start melting down and I put my uh, cover siftery t-shirt thing over here and then and then melt it and then pour it in so um, I've got enough here probably for maybe two pans maybe not quite two pans and uh yeah we'll go from there so uh give me a minute get this liquidy and uh we'll get pouring it it's not going to take super too long hopefully okay we got the big pot i think ready here uh we're gonna see what we can pour here i did kind of feel a little grit in the bottom even though i have filtered this stuff but it's in the bottom so it should be all right I don't pour too fast. I'm not too sure if we're going to have enough for two full bricks here, though. It's like pouring liquid gold. But try to get two out of it. Try to keep the grit in the bottom. It's like panning gold, right? gold in the bottom. Oh, it's not going to be quite enough. Close. Close enough. Okay, so there's a hair, a little bit of grit in the bottom, but that's okay. We can wipe that off. And I have some chunks ready to go here in the little guy. And uh, while that's still hottish in here, I'll wipe out the, the extra stuff. Sweet. Okay, I can hardly believe it. This stuff's already starting to harden me hard enough and I got a crack. Well, not really crack. It's separated, from, shrunk a bit from the side of this guy, but I'll uh, I'll leave that there. We got uh, this pot's ready to sift through here. So let's give her, give her something through and it'll sift out any anything that it finds in there shouldn't be that much this stuff's actually fairly clean it's a lot cleaner than the other stuff that i got from these the same people here so it's just a rough it's just an old t-shirt of mine it works pretty good but it's just a rough uh, uh i spilled a little bit on the bottom it'll burn it's just a rough uh sift here so it's not a major huge problem 
But uh, let me bust up another couple of chunks and uh, we'll melt up some more. I'm going to fill this pot bag up. Okay, that'll take a few minutes. And uh, we'll sift our next, the next one out. Okay, so round two. This stuff is really, really, really melted. <laughs> so we'll run her through and filter out any large particulate. You know, if there's happened to be bees or anything in there, should be good. I don't think there's much in this stuff. This stuff's actually very, very clean that I got from that. It's really nice stuff. So I'm still looking for a filter that I can use that. Um, it's actually like the coffee filter where it's like a screen. Or this stuff is, I don't even know it works, but you waste a lot in the in the material. Well, from the magical part of the internet, two weeks flew past. <laughs> so from the last clip to this clip, I went on vacation. It's not kind of funny. But anyways, everything's cold and hard and frozen. Well, not frozen, but cold. Look at this, how much this shrunk. Just pops right out. Oh, that smells so good. And this one's good. Like gold bricks. I like gold bricks. So we got uh, this will be all hard now. Yeah. And you know what? Oh, Mike. Oh, look at that feller. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Oh, it smells so good. I'm gonna leave it just like that. I thought. Uh, why not, eh? I cleaned the bottom of the bucket out pretty good. So I gotta do some more melt. I still got, uh... Let me rejuvenate myself here. How much we got left? That's actually it for... That first block. I think that's the corner that was left. So I'll get that going again here. Get things back up to temp. Um, we'll put our screener guy back on even though it's ah, there's a little bit of crud in there but it's not terrible bad crud so yes I was away for two weeks as most of you know went to uh, if you watch any of those videos I went to see my sister in Halifax and uh, did some drone videos and some a whole bunch of videos so they're all on the on the channel there if you check them out um, it's pretty awesome but now we gotta get back to her so we'll get to I'll we'll get this one melting Dump it into there, and uh, eventually I'll have enough I can pour into three pans here, hopefully. And uh, like I still got one big block yet to do here, so we're going to work on that as well. Okay, let's pour this in. This is going to all have to remelt itself here again. So pour slowly until it starts to go through. Yeah, this dust. This stuff's fairly clean. I don't really think I need to filter it, but I think I will just because. Woo. Okay, empty. All right, so there's our other block. Uh, just to give you an idea um, how big this is, it's 15 pounds. And uh, it's 13 inch by, well, we'll say 10 and 3 quarter by uh, 4 inches thick. So it's pretty pretty big, pretty big chunk. Um, 15 pounds. I put it on my scale, but I think my scale's too small. So we got to bust off some chunks. Uh, what am I going to need for that? I got a hammer here. And it's pretty tough stuff. I'm going to need a, a big screwdriver here, too. So I'm going to bust some chunks off of this. Last time I used my jackhammer, but that was a little extreme, so we're not going to go that route this time. I can't use too big a pieces like that's probably about it for the size of... That's a pretty good one, too. See, this stuff doesn't smell nice. I don't know what it is. But when I cook it, it seems to smell nicer. So, oh. so that's probably about all I can put in that pot. Let's grab that pot down here. 
and I should get a bigger melting initial melt pot for it. But that's pretty much gonna be about it. <laughs> that might not work, but let's put her on and see what she does. Well, that might work in there. There. Okay, we'll let that sit there. We'll see. Hopefully that's not too much. And uh, we'll get her poured into the, to the thing here. I probably should remelt this guy too. The big disc. Um, from that pot. That's kind of cool that it came out like that. But that's pretty sweet. Oh, it smells so good too. But we'll let that, uh, we'll let that cook down there and Ported, sift her out. Well, I was curious. I was wondering how heavy these pan ones are, and they're just about uh, two pounds, roughly. They come out as, and I thought, oh, what's this disc? Let's put this on the scale, and uh, if I can just get it on there, we got uh, three point one two pounds on that disc alone. So that's kind of cool. I might potentially just melt that down and put it through the through the pan pans, but. Uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. It's a cool little scale. I like this thing. Nice. 4.2 ounces. Um, I don't... Um, how heavy is this going to go? Yeah, it's too much. I think it's only 10 pounds. 8... 6, 7, 8... 9... 10... You know, 10 pounds, so I can't weigh that big block because it's still too heavy for that. But anyways, pretty cool. But while that's heating up there, I'm going to bust the rest of this up. We'll do like a high-speed bust up, maybe. High-speed stuff's kind of cool. Sometimes it comes out really neat. But uh, let's get high speed and... All right, so that one's just finishing up. We actually gauged that pretty darn good. There's a little bit left in the bottom yet. That's still waxy-ish, but it's melting pretty quick, so that's good. Um, so let that spoon melt off a bit there. Uh, I'm not gonna make you guys sit through melting all this that huge block, but we're gonna do enough to uh, pretty much fill up this guy. And then I'm gonna fill up my pans, and then probably call our day, and then uh, have to work at the rest a little later on. I can't do it all at once, right? So. Uh, but anyways, we'll be ready to pour this one soon, and then um, I'll, I'll pour this one, and I'll do a bunch, get this filled up, ready to go reheat this guy up so it's ready to pour again, and then uh, we'll fill our gold up, gold pans. Okay, let's pour this one. I think we're all ready. And this one actually looked like it had a bit of stuff in it, which... Seem kind of weird because it's been fairly clean so far, but this is the... I don't know how they filter. They must have some filtering mechanism up there or something to run it through. Or maybe just a coffee filter like me, but... They have a lot of the stuff out of it, but there is there's a bit of stuff in this one. Okay. Filtering, filtering through. So I'll do some more here and get a pot here full. And uh, and we'll start pouring some gold. Alright, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty big pour there. I should have enough for three. Um, I just took the cover off the top, so it has been sitting for a wee while. They're probably, uh, I call it, waxy scum layer in the bottom so let's see oh yeah there's definitely a waxy layer in the bottom Ooh, looks like honey so yeah we got quite Ooh, don't fall off there <laughs> that would suck we got quite a layer down there so 
I'll have to let it heat up for a few more minutes. Let's just see, maybe I can kind of help it a little bit. It's just like ice cream, but it's hot. So we'll let that sit and melt a bit more until she's good and clean on the bottom and no wax build up bits and uh, come on, get off. It's gonna take a few minutes, so we'll be right on back. Okay, I think I'm ready to pour. I am very uh, nervous of this. This is uh, the biggest one I've ever had to pour here. So I'm gonna try to start in this one, so if anything spills, it should hopefully fall into these ones. And here we go. Didn't really have a, a pouring spout for say on this uh, This pot, but so far so good. Ooh, that's enough. Looks like I'm gonna have some extra here. little bit. So uh, I guess maybe I will also pour my uh, one pound block. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you're pretty good there. Okay. So this actually might not be quite enough for this, but let's see how far we can get. Actually, you know what? We're going to have more than enough. That is pretty darn good. Now, <laughs> I got some left yet, so what I'm gonna pour is maybe, I uh, don't think I've got enough for that big guy. Um, hmm. What should I pour? Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it in there. Well, should pour it into something, I guess, but. Oh, what have I got? Got my little lighthouse guy. We could pour him. I uh, might not do a candle out of him, as per se, uh, because I do have a few of those. Um, hmm, hmm, what to do? Hmm. Well. Maybe we'll make a candle. Hang on, let me wick her up. Okay, so that's wick, kid. <laughs> Wicked. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm not going to pour it right out of that guy. I'm going to uh, scoop some and pour it that way. Still got some left. Got enough to pour something else, maybe. Mm, what else should I pour? Hang on. Uh, mini bear. I haven't been making these into candles because they're just too small. Well, that one's good. I still got some left. So I'll pour this guy, maybe, too. I jump and I still got some left. Well, uh, let me look for another mold. Okay, I should have enough to pour this one. It's not very much, but it's a tall candle. Uh, I got lots of molds, of course, you guys know, but this is actually sort of one of my favorite ones. I don't know why, but we're still got some left. <laughs> Air bubbles out of them. It gets too solidified. That's not too bad.
And I've got a little bit left in here, but not really enough to really pour, I don't think, anything. Although I might be able to pour something really small. Um, like, 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 like. Let me look. I got the lamb here too. It doesn't look like a lamb. This is a, a lamb. Uh, look at these ones are already skinning over here. That's funny. So is the uh, one pound one. It's already got skin lines on it. Uh, so let me see. Can I get the rest of this wax? That bear, that sheep might be half a sheep. It might be half a sheep. And if it is, it'll look funny. Well, that's a little bit too much, but pretty darn close. Oh, yeah, a little bit too much on all over the table. Oh, that's not too good. But we can scrape that off after. But anyways, there we go. Pretty darn near used her all up. And that's good. So whenever this is hardened here, we'll demold. That'll be it for today. Look at the skin on that one already, eh? Wax is so cool. <laughs> Well, let's let them harden up. Well, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Oh, I love time lapse. <laughs> uh, anyways, these haven't sat overnight, but eh. feels loose in there. Oh, should just come right out. Basically just trying to get the top of the wick pulled through, right? There we go. Oh, fresh candles. Doesn't smell great yet. It smells more like the, the mold. <laughs> but So there's that one. you got to pull the, the feller off it. But these look like they're all done. Uh, this one... That's funny. That thing is off. Now it's off. <laughs> um... One of these flower ones. It's just very, very lightly warm right now. Yeah, it doesn't smell the greatest either. They smell better once they've uh, uh, sat for a while. They kind of take on the little bit of the, yeah, a little bit of the silicone smell. A little fire. This is a sheep that we overfilled a little bit. There he comes, he just needs some trimming. Not too bad. He doesn't smell too bad. And this is the lighthouse. Oh no. Ugh. And it's a little bit warm too, so it's not 100% set up yet, but. I'll leave these things on until maybe, maybe after, get them off later. And these ones, this one, it's split. Oh, we're all jammed together. These ones I don't think are quite ready to come out yet. I don't think. They're, they're fairly warm yet, but I'll probably have to leave them until later. They're uh, 
uh, still fairly warm. I don't think it's going to pop out of here yet. It's going to actually shrink a little bit. So I'll have to leave those till next time. This one, yeah, it's still pretty warm, but probably could demold it. But it's quite waxy, if you know what I mean. Oh, there you go, that's not really really hardened yet. You can see the difference in the color, right? So this would just still be, yeah, it's pretty warm there yet, so it holds the heat for a while, but that's what it should like when look like when it's done. There you can get the idea of the coloration of it. And there's one from being aged for quite a while. Got like a, a wax wax on it even. Wax sweat. But uh, that would be probably warm enough now you could actually mold it into a ball. But I'm just going to leave it. Let it harden up. But yeah, these ones, this one's let go a little bit down the side. But it's not ready to come out yet. Okay, let these ones sit overnight, because these ones need that much time, but now they just flop right out. No sweat. Nice and clean there, too. They smell good. Oh, they smell really good. Now, that's so weird, because I don't know what it is. This smells good, but that block that I got, that is the exact same stuff, <clears throat> basically, that I've, maybe I've cooked it or something, I don't know. Um, doesn't smell good at all. Actually smells kind of not good at all. <laughs> <laughs> but these ones smell good, so oh, I can smell that all day. <laughs> and uh oh, oh, there we go. Oh, this one had a funny thing on the side. Hmm. The rest of it looks pretty good. And this one. So when I spilt a little bit into the other pan. It looks pretty good all the way around, except the top had a nice big split. So, I don't know. It smells good. Yeah, the other time I get this on the side of the pans, I don't know, it's weird. You get uh, splits here and there and everything. But... Alright, well I got a lot more work to do. I won't put you guys through all that watching all that process. It's pretty much the same thing every time. Um, save as much wax as you can off your sheet. Seems to come off that vinyl pretty good. If I spill any it goes on there and I just bust it off. So anyways that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a good one and we'll catch you all later.